Cam, I, Mike had talked to us about how good this team is in space. They have so many different guys that hit you there. As a defense, how do you combat guys that are so good in space? Um, good tackling, uh, guys running to the ball, um, and just being on your piece of kids. So I think um, we got to be in the right spots to make tackles. We can't have guys uh, wide open uh, because they have so much yak. Um, it's a 11 man job. It's not one guy, but uh, we got to make sure we minimize that part of the game. Is there enough tape on Purdy? I mean, has he played enough to get a good grasp of what kind of quarterback he is? I think so. Um, you know, I think when you look at it, uh, obviously you got hurt at the end of the year and he didn't start off the year, but uh, I thought there was a good amount of tape to you know try to get a read on him. When you guys have pulled many big upsets in the season opener the last two years, what is it about the way that you guys come out that kind of leads to these big wins? Because we don't really care if it's an upset. Um, I think the main thing we just care about is trying to get a W. It's, a, it's for other people to make those upset predictions and care about the line, but all we're really, con- really concerned with is you know trying to get the W this Sunday. Well, you guys coming out fast, does it help that, that you guys maybe play more in preseason games than other teams? Do you feel like you get good momentum from the preseason going into week one? You're asking the wrong person. I took a limited <laughs> amount of snaps, so uh, maybe that's a question for TJ. Along the same lines of what Brooke asked you initially, just how much emphasis is there on coming out, setting a tone early and saying, you know, hey, this is where we're at right now this season? Well, I think in you know, the month of September, uh, you know, you're building your resume and everybody's watching and uh, you know it's what everybody's gonna say you are uh, for most of the season so um, it's best to start fast um, not build a you know a hole where you got to climb out and you know you're trying to fight back but uh, you know try to get on the right foot. Kim I know it's about you guys in here but they had the top ranked defense last year is this kind of like a measuring stick of where you guys are? To- um you know I think one um we get to see the number one defense uh, from last year, and um, obviously everyone is going to me- measure themselves up against them uh, because they had a lot of success, and then they add in a guy like Hargrave. So, um, you know, we'll see where we're at, but, uh, you know, last year is, is last year. We just got to we got to see who's number one this year. Um, how, how excited are you just to finally get out there? I'm just excited to get to week one. I feel like it's been a while. Um, but, uh, you know, we got a good group, and, uh, you know, like, like I said, I just think uh, you watch this number one defense that uh, our offense is going to have to play against, and, um, you know, we, we got to be able to make plays on our side. Okay. Gotcha. Go ahead. How, far, how far have you seen the outcome? We've heard a lot about the depth. How, how do you think that's going to play a factor for you guys this year? Yeah, I think, um, you know, Leal's come a long way um, learning the defense. Um, you know, as a rookie, uh, we put a lot on this plate. Um, at times it was a lot, but, you know, I think this year he's a lot more comfortable in the situation, and depth is going to play a big part, um, whether it's this game or game 16 or 17. We're not just trying to do this for one game. We're trying to have guys uh, that we have ways of terror. Um, that you know, it doesn't matter who's out there. Uh, we're still getting the same production. You guys always stress stop and run first. Uh, what makes Christian so dangerous out there? What makes him so good? I think his versatility to be in any position, um, whether it's being a running back, um, a wide receiver, coming out of the backfield, catching. Um, there's nothing he can't do on the field. And if you give that guy space, uh, you're in for a war to hurt. Cam, you guys had 16 days in between the last preseason game and week one. How do you maintain the level of consistency and even build upon it that you had in the preseason? Uh, I don't think you really look at consistency from preseason. Um, I think you just understand that everybody's dealing with that. Um, you know, everybody's had a big uh, layoff since preseason. It's time for guys to get healthy. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we're just ready to start the season. 13 years in, you still get, you still excited for an opener? You oh, yeah, still, definitely still, still excited because you know, I have an opportunity to do something that I love. You know, I don't know when my number is going to be called, so I just want to make sure that I continue to enjoy the moments that, that are presented to me. So I still get excited. I still get juiced up. I can't wait to Sunday. Is, it some, is this, this a, you're such a unique matchup, this team, with, with the, they have unique players, like a running back and receiver? And yeah. is, is that So your packages will be a lot more varied maybe today, this week, against this team? Um, you got to do the chess match kind yeah, of? Yeah, it's matchup. definitely going to be a chess match, and um, we know it's going to be a physical ball game. We know that these guys are going to try to do a lot of uh, 
show us a lot of eye candy, dressing up a lot of plays, uh, trying to make sure that our communication is on point. That's, that's just the nature of going up against a Kyle Shanahan offense. So um, we just have to make sure that we're all on the same page because they're not running any rocket scientist plays. It's just the pre-snap, the, pre, the pre-snap shift, shifts in motions that's forcing you to get in another call or another check that's forcing defenses to, uh, to spring guys free. Have you seen uh, Brock's, Brock Purdy's game? Say, so what do I see? Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, you know, it's a very friendly quarterback system. You know, I believe they do a great job of getting the ball, getting the football in their playmakers' hands in short grass, and those guys just do the rest after that. You know, not saying that he can't throw the ball down the field or make those big throws. It's just something we just haven't seen on tape. You know, so it just looked like he's comfortable with what Kyle calls. And you know, and there's been a lot of screens, a lot of misdirection plays, a lot of uh, drag and over routes, you know, so, and the receivers, the, uh, the, 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 play, uh, the, uh, the pass catchers, once they get the ball in their hands, those are the guys who's making the hay after, you know, so we just have to, tackling is gonna be the most important, one of the most important things in this ball game for, for sure because like I talked about earlier, they have the number one running back, number two tight end, number one receiver at catch uh, at uh, yards after the catch. So tackling is going to be at a premium for sure. Is there another team that has a receiver that can play running back and a running back that can play receiver? Yeah, um, they just named a new position for Cardell Patterson, Joker. So that's kind of what he does, right? But I mean, is there a team that's <laughs> both of those guys? Nah, nah, that, that's 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 something that's very very unique. Maybe the guy. Uh, Travis Hunter may be, he might be a, a candidate when he gets in the league. <laughs> we'll see. find a third title for him. I know, right? <laughs> How often have you gone against Debo? Well. And what's it been like? Man, you know, I was in Arizona for a while. So I think I played against Debo maybe six, six times. But he's a dynamic, he's a football player. He's a, he's a ball player, a guy that, that loves football and also he can, plug them in at any position. You just get them the ball and watch what happens. Having been in Arizona so much, how how much more familiar are you with Shanahan's offense and how much does that help in a week like this when most of the people in this locker room probably haven't been up against that offense on the field? Yeah, I mean, watching film is definitely still running a lot of things that uh, that he ran that he ran when I was in Arizona. Had the opportunity to go up against him last year in Minnesota in training camp, pretty much running the same thing. So you know obviously Offenses and offensive coordinators going to have some new wrinkle, but for the most part, their identity is their identity. You know, so I understand that. Coach Tomlin understands that, and also they understand how we want to play football as well. So it's going to be a chess match. It's going to be a physical ball game, and we're going to see what team is going to be able to oppose their will the best. How ready is Joey? Say it again. How ready is Joey? Joey is ready. Joey's ready. Um, he's he, he he's dialed in into the game plan. Um, He's getting, he's getting better as far as understanding how a week goes in the NFL, as far as the preparation, as far as getting his body prepared, as far as what he has to do after practice, getting the, the extra work in, treatment, et cetera. So um, I do definitely, I know, I don't think, I know that he's ready to, uh, to get in there and, 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 and make some plays for this defense. He said he has about 10 nicknames. What do you call him? I call him a little bit of everything too. I call him, I call him Peasy Junior. I call him JP, JJ, uh, Joey. We call him a little bit of everything right now. <laughs> but nothing has sticked just yet, so we're still searching. How ready is uh, number twenty to play something other than corner? I'm very, very ready to play something other than corner. Um, obviously, this is my first opportunity to have a uh, to, to to be able to do that job, and just going along and practice it, practice this week. It's kind of like. It's about to happen. It's finally about to happen. You know, so I'm 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 so excited to finally be in different positions to be involved in the uh, in the game plan. You talked about wanting to be a leader on this team. What type of advice are you giving to the younger guys as they prepare for the season? Repeat the first part of the question. I'm sorry. You talked about wanting to be a leader on this team. Oh yeah. So mm -hmm. what advice are you giving to the younger guys that are getting ready for their first NFL game? The biggest, the biggest advice I give the guys is just understand, understanding your assignment. Like we don't have to make any, you know, spat, splash plays that's outside of our rim of our job. Just do your job. You were supposed to be, and let the play come to you. And I believe if we're able to do that and communicate, if we're, if you're able to do that, you'll be as successful as you, as you want to be. You know, so 
obviously be tuned in on the game plan, but be where you're supposed to be at all times. You don't have to do anything outside of your body to try to make a play, a splash play for this defense. Keanu, what makes this uh, San Francisco rushing attack so difficult to defend? The what? San Francisco rushing attack, their running game. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're awesome, man. They got a lot of talent, a lot of guys uh, doing a lot of great things. Uh, their O-line's awesome. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's, it's a challenge for us. I mean, it's, it's a lot of talent, for sure. Keanu yeah, Mike was saying that they've got guys all over that are really good in space. As a defense, how do you combat guys that are good in space? <laughs> I think just going down to fundamentals. I mean, what we've been doing since OTAs, training camp, mini camps, just tackling uh, fundamentals, um, and we've been doing that that all year. So, um, so that's really what it boils down to is getting down. Is there enough tape on Purdy for you guys? I mean, has he played enough to kind of get a grasp on what kind of quarterback he is? Yeah, for the most part. I mean, he's a talented player. I mean, he's a Great athlete, he can run, he can throw the ball really well. Uh, so, so yeah, he's, he's a good player. Is there a little bit of extra emphasis on looking to confuse a younger quarterback in that way, and looking just the way that you guys have your schemes play in that fashion? Yeah, I mean we'll have some things in place, uh, you know, to, to, to attack him a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, like he's he's a dynamic quarterback. Uh, he d- does a great job with the, with the scheme that he's in. So, uh, so yeah, but, but yeah, we'll, we'll have some things in place for sure. Yeah. I mean, three safeties makes it, the dime defense. Is that something? Is that just kind of the modern NFL now? It seems like you guys, just from what it seems, a lot of that six DBs. Is that just countering what they do? Is that a matchup thing, or is that kind of? Like, yeah, I, I feel like the league is starting to evolve to, uh, to, to a passing league and, and having more DBs on the field that can cover and do those things. I mean, it's, it's always good. Uh, so, I mean, it, it comes to matchups, but it also comes to just how the how the league is transforming a little bit. Obviously, you guys have had all preseason and all offseason to kind of really come together, but how much is there an extra emphasis on just communication and making sure you guys are fundamentally sound when you're starting and you guys have so many new pieces on defense right now? It's huge. It's huge, and that's what Mike T's been emphasizing, especially um, going into this game. You know, it's a home game. You know, I've, I haven't officially played in one, uh, you know, on this side of the, the field, um, you know, besides the preseason. But, you know, uh, yeah, it gets, it gets crazy. It gets loud. So, um, so yeah, the communication aspect is, is really big uh, for us, especially on defense. Yeah, what's, being, the most that Sorry, what's the most difficult part about defending a running back from Caffrey's caliber? <laughs> um... He has great balance, man. Uh, he kind of reminds me of Kamara a little bit uh, as far as his balance and, and being able to stay on his feet, make guys miss. Uh, so for us, it goes down to, like like I said earlier, the fundamentals, tackling, uh, getting guys to the ball, uh, and, and going from there. One more. All right. Appreciate it.